Hi everybody, Yvette D'Agostino from Shallow Gray's Magazine here, and I am here with the Uncanny Harbor crew. We have Nick Blaskages and Corey Wells, who plays author in the movie. Now, I'm going to say, first off, where did you get the concept of this, mind you? It is filmed in a small New England town, and I'd love to know where you got the concept, because this falls somewhere between... I want to say a thriller extraterrestrial deal, but I was leaning more towards thriller by the time I was done. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to be honest with you. Well, the, I mean, the concept, my brother is actually a, um, a fishing charter captain, and me and him always kind of toss movie ideas back and forth, and we got thought of this idea of what if a uh, fisherman's wife got affected by aliens, and the whole town thought he did it. I'm like, oh, that's a cool little nugget of an idea, and it just he helped plant the seed, and then wrote it from there. We've always had an obsession with, like, the paranormal extraterrestrial stuff and, you know, we thought the, the, the thriller was the best way to illustrate it. Now are you also, are you both from New England or? I'm from Maine. Are you, okay, so you are a New Englander. Yep, yep, I'm from Mass. Okay, so you know there is a lot of course rich paranormal history in New England. Absolutely. But I'm going to say one thing I really did enjoy, you played the part of Arthur and you were <laughs> You were very torn up, like even when you were having kind of your flashbacks that weren't quite to the point where William's character, Murray? Yeah. Okay, good. Um, remember, you know, thought you did it and you walked him through. Now, I did like the part. So, for you, how did you delve into that? Like, how did you get to that point in acting that you got that deep to be able to do that? Because there were points you looked so haunted. Life experience. Okay. That's a, literally life experience. There's no, you know, and you know, knowing the part and. I don't know, I'm around a lot of fishermen and whatnot, um, being around depressed people. Uh, yeah, it helps. <laughs> it was very, you were very isolated. It was very, I mean, honestly, it was like shed a tear. I'm not even kidding you because you really got in touch with that. And I think what's sad was like the younger version of you when she was literally, you were, you were basically, oh my gosh, you're crazy. Not so much trying to say it, but you're not seeing anything in the mirror. Yeah. And she's like, really haunted, I thought it was you. Um, for you, you know, were you there for that? Were you able so that you could build on that character? No, I wasn't. <laughs> okay, and, that, see, and that's what really, to me, it looks like you were because it was a seamless, yeah. like oh, I, cool. yeah. it awesome. was very seamless, awesome. like you would sit there going, oh my God, that's really him when he was younger because you brought that character to life. Now this was how many years in development for you guys, because I did look, go back and I looked at your Kickstarter yeah. page, and yeah. it was really great, you know. So, how many years in development was this? Um, I mean, I wrote it and we filmed it all within a year, and then we've been just doing festivals after festivals since then. So, yeah. And you guys have gotten some really great, you know, the critics have had nothing yeah. nut but nice things yeah, to I've say. Been very happy with that. So, I mean, you you filmed this as a short. Was that your whole plan? Were you hoping to go bigger? Were you hoping that this might actually lead to yeah. something a little more? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So is that what your hopefully your plan is? Because I find oh, yeah. it very enjoyable. Yep. And um, so my question to you is, what will be your next thing? Um, uh, what's, I got one of you. A full length version of, of the short, hopefully. That's the, that's the plan. And you sound like you're well on the way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now, how much did you have to do during filming how much, you know, incorporation did you put yourself into the filming, into the characters, into maybe, or did you let them, like, take that role and run with it? You know, I just, I give, I have, I mean, we have you a have pretty script. solid script, and then I just give them bullet points, like, you know, whatever sounds the most natural, whatever feels the most real to you guys, you just need to hit these points, and this is what the, the scene needs to happen, it needs to happen within the scene before to move it to the next part. I think they did a great job. Yeah, it was, it was, it's real easy uh, filming with Bill. We work off each other really well. Um, if he if he slips, I can cover for him. If I slip, he covers for me, and we just make it work. And you make it you make it back to where you're supposed to be. Yes. yes. Okay. Because yes. I'm going to tell you one thing. I did mention to him as we were watching this. I was like, they're really good. Thank you. They're really good. I mean, and because and, and this is really great because you guys are doing like this indie and it's indie short. A lot of times, people just throw something together. And you're like, oh my gosh. But honestly, you guys were really solid in, on that point. Okay, I mean, it was solid and it was it was like watching a nice long screener that you're like, I want to see more. I want to see how all this, like, 
there's little bits and tits and bits that you guys can add in that will really. It was like it was like a 21 minute. Yep. Yeah, that's our whole idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It yeah, yeah. was a 21 minute teaser. Yeah. So that's awesome to hear. <laughs> how did you pick the location when once you had this? Did you have some place in mind? Well, it's funny because you know I grew up around the, the area where we filmed, and that's where my brother fishes. So we literally would scout there and just imagine it because it's right in our backyard, really. <laughs> and yeah, we just picked out all the locations. The lab is actually my, my college that I went to. So. And the casting. The casting. Um, I just put out a casting call. And, you know, with the guys that that brought it. You know. <laughs> so now. This is there anything in the works now to make this more of a feature ending? Yes. Oh, oh yes. That is amazing. Yeah, pretty and do you have when you went into the twenty one minutes, did you have like a full length script written as well? Not with it, but I had full length ideas that I needed to, to make fill sure. in. You had to fill in. But you had to make sure all the cogs and wheels still turn together once you implement those new ideas. So now it's really reshaping all of that. You'll see a lot of what happened in the short, but a lot more and a lot of things, different things too, a lot of different things. I actually look forward to because I'm going to say out of everybody, you are my favorite. And when I watch, and I don't know if it is because of my background in theater and that team, the little nuances you took like when you were trying to remember you you know, unconsciously go and twist the wedding band. Yeah. There were little unconscious things you did that truly showed like nobody was believing you and you're like you think I cut her up into bits type deal so there were unconscious little things that I've got to say I might I don't think I see I got who's people thinking about it <laughs> <laughs> so there were some unconscious things and it's like was that stuff that just came natural to you with those character choices um, there, there were choices to just make it seem like this guy a lot of people when they do that they fidget they twitch right. um, little face no, nostril flares stuff like that um, it's just from observing people Right. Pretty much. Right. Just, that's like my brain watches and collects information when I'm not even paying attention. So uh, you basically profile to... in your own sense. Yes, yes. yes. you get those little yes. nuances yes. that people have to say. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. So now, if anybody wants to check this out, where could they go? What is your Facebook page? What is your dot com? Uh, Facebook.com slash Uncanny Harbor. You get all updates and trailers and whatnot. More to come, hopefully. Yeah. Okay, and. and I want to thank you both for taking the time. I want to thank you for it was really good.